there are huge benefits to be gained by having a consistent mindfulness practice. Uh, doing so on a regular basis every single day for even if it's only five minutes, ideally 10, 15, 20, 30. And yet it's possible to be mindful at any particular moment. And essentially a, a, a good working definition of mindfulness is any, any time when the activity that you're engaged in and, and your mind are at one, that's being mindful. Or perhaps put another way, you could ask yourself what seems to be a very simple question, but it's deceptively simple. And the question is, how do you know? You know how do you know you're sitting, assuming that you're sitting right now? I can hear your response, don't be daft, David, of course I know I'm sitting. But how do you know that you're sitting? Can you feel the contact between the back of your thighs and the seat that you're sitting on? Perhaps your back and the back of the chair? Can you feel the weight of your body pulling yourself down into the chair? How do you actually know right at this moment what it is you're doing? And bringing that sense of curiosity to each moment, that's being mindful. It brings us into the present. So in the morning, when you have a shower, who's in there with you? <laughs> no, I'm not being weird. But much of the time, we're already thinking about what's going to go on during the course of the day where we're going, what we're doing, our first meeting, whatever's happening at work. We don't necessarily notice the sensations of the water, the warmth or the coolness, the feeling of the water as it hits your body, the soap, shampoo, just experiencing those moment by moment sensations. And they're available at any moment, at any time. One practice you you could have a little go at, and you could even do this right now, is to be aware of the sensations in your hands. Use your hands for almost everything, but rarely do we actually notice them. So now perhaps, do you notice as you look at your hand? What different colours are there? Different shades? Light? Pale skin? Pink skin? dark skin, what can you notice in terms of lines? What about any dryness or moisture? Any sense of resistance as you move your fingers across the palm of your hand? What about the sensations as you move towards the tips of your fingers? Maybe if you turn your hand over, what do you notice? The veins, knuckles, perhaps the different skin tones, different colours of your nails and the whites of the quick of your nail. Just aware of any sensations as they arise in your hands. Just simply open to an awareness of what's going on moment by moment. Not looking to do anything or change anything. Just simply being aware of sensations as they arise. And having spent a minute or so studying your hands, what happened to all those thoughts that were going around before then? Whether they were about work or about what you had to do or where you had to go? Thoughts of past or thoughts of the future? When we're engaged in something, fully open and aware to the sensory experience moment by moment, we're here in the present, and sometimes described as the only moment that we're truly alive. And just remember, whether it's your hands, or being aware of the sensation of sitting or standing, or aware of your breath, the opportunity to be present is with you every single moment of every single day. The opportunity to be here and now, to create some space and some time. And better to make sense of what's going on in your life.